Hi there, I'm Rob Ruckus. I live here in Las Vegas, Nevada, where marijuana is now recreational. A lot of people come to me at the dispensary that I work at. Their doctors give them a diagnosis of some disease that they have, and then tell them, here's your medical marijuana card, go to the dispensary. But they don't necessarily tell them what to do, what to get, or how to use it. If you're dealing with cancer specifically, and epilepsy, fibromyalgia, lupus, damn near anything, um, the best thing for you is cannabis oil, Rick Simpson oil, Phoenix Tears, full extract cannabis oil, whatever you want to call it. It's basically just cannabis oil. So as, in essence, what it is, is we use alcohol to strip all the oils off of the plant matter. And then we boil off all the alcohol. So all that is left is just the oil from the plant. Now, what I'm going to show you today is how to capsule them. Um, I, what I've done already is separated my capsules here. I use number three gelatin capsules. Um, the vegetarian gelatin capsules can also be used as suppositories if it's any kind of a lower GI, prostate, or colon uh, problem. So basically what we are gonna do here is we're gonna take one gram of cannabis oil and for the Rick Simpson protocol, he says to start with a rice grain of cannabis oil a day. So. 30 rice grains basically comes out to one gram of cannabis oil. So in order to make these, what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix one gram cannabis oil to seven grams organic coconut oil. The reason being behind using the coconut oil is the fatty acids and the sugars that are in the coconut oil will help your body metabolize this oil better. Think about it this way, if you eat vitamins, the toilet's gonna to be bright yellow for the next couple days because the body is not metabolizing at all. It's passing right through you. We don't want that to happen with this. This is not cheap to make and it's a medicine. So we want the body to metabolize all of it we possibly can. So we mix it with the coconut oil because the body loves sugars. So it will metabolize all of this oil when it's mixed with the coconut oil. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna mix the one gram of cannabis oil into our Pyrex cup. So, we are going to squirt this in here. As of right now, I'm at three, mil or three grams on, on my syringe. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make it go down to the number two. So we're just doing one set at a time. Squirt directly into the cup. We will use a separate syringe now to suck up the coconut oil. Personally, I go for the organic coconut oil. I try to go for organic everything, but dealing with the, some of the people that I deal with, a lot of them have very, very weak immune systems. So the more clean, the better. I don't want any kind of contaminants in my oil. I don't want any kind of contaminants in my coconut oil. So I just, you just go to any health food store, you can get this coconut oil anywhere. Um, I get the syringes at, at a, a medical supply house. Um, most cities have one. So just look up medical supply houses or online, you can find them also. Okay, so what we're doing now is we've got our one gram of cannabis oil in the cup already. So now we're gonna suck up seven milliliters of coconut oil. This one only goes to five, so let's get our five right now. Five milliliters coconut oil, and we're going to put this with our cannabis oil. So there's five, and now we're gonna get two more. It's just that easy. So now we have seven milliliters of coconut oil mixed with one gram of cannabis oil. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take this cup and we're gonna put it on a coffee maker, coffee warmer, any kind of warmer. We don't wanna heat it up and get it really, really hot. We just wanna heat it up enough so it's gonna all mix together. So let's give this a minute. As we're waiting for the oil to heat up, um, I wanna explain also that 
all the Rick Simpson oil that I make, I make out of only indica buds. So I only use the finest indica buds that I can possibly find in Nevada dispensaries. It's all been tested. I know the levels of everything. I look for stuff with higher myrcene levels, higher caryophylline levels, uh, caryophylline, excuse me, because that's where your painkiller is. That's where your relaxant is. We want to get people to relax and sleep as much as possible because that's when the human body heals is as it sleeps. The other reasoning behind using Rick Simpson oil is everything on the planet that has a spine has an endocannabinoid system. The endocannabinoid system is what fuels our immune system. When we make our immune system strong, our body will fight bad cells, no matter what they be. They can be cancer, they can be epilepsy, fibromyalgia, anything. Your body will go after those bad cells and destroy them themselves, unlike chemotherapy and radiation that destroys all of the cells around the area. So I do believe our oil is now warm. So let's set this over here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this on the white here so you guys can see this a little better. Um, you can use anything to do this, um, personally, the first batch of oil I ever made for this little girl with cancer, who is now cancer free, we made a bicycle for her the same day and there was an extra spoke. So forever I've used this single spoke to make my oil. <laughs> so what we're going to do now is, as you can see, we've heated up our cannabis and our coconut oil mixture together. So now what we're going to do is we're going to mix it. And as you can see, once you warm it up, it very, very easily mixes and turns golden. And once again, you can use the back of a spoon or a fork or anything you feel comfortable with to use to stir this up. You are not going to hurt it. Only thing you need to remember about this whole process is seven to one is going to make you the rice grain size. And if, if, if that's too much for you, you can add more coconut oil. You can make these quarter dose. You can make these half dose. I've done quarter dose for lots of people. Some people that have Lyme's disease, they can't take full doses. You have to do small doses because it all, it all stores up in the body and let's go at once. And we don't want to do that. Okay. So basically we are now ready to start capsuling. So we will grab our syringe. We will grab our cannabis oil, coconut oil mixture and we will suck it up into the syringe. Like so. And now we have cannabis oil and coconut oil in a syringe. So what we're gonna do is, I've already separated these capsules. So once again, I use number three gelatin capsules. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab the big piece, such as, and then what we will do is we will fill up the bottom part. Slowly, it doesn't take much. You don't really have to push on these syringes. It kind of comes out on its own. So be careful when you do this. And then you just put your cap on. And as you can see, you just keep going. You know, I just want everybody to know it's that it's this is nothing to be intimidated about you know if you can make a cup of coffee you can basically do this this is nothing to be afraid of it's literally just mixing coconut oil and cannabis oil heating it up a little bit sucking it up into a syringe and putting it in a capsule it's 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 not that hard so it's nothing to be afraid of and it's nothing but good for you all this is gonna do is make your immune system strong so your body fights disease the way it should. Okay, so in essence, it's that easy. It's literally just mixing cannabis oil, mixing coconut oil, warming it up, sucking it up into the syringe, and putting it in the capsules. So in that time, we have 39 capsules there. Um, I added a little bit more coconut oil to this one because it's for somebody with a lower tolerance. But it's that easy. It's nothing to be afraid of. This is something very easy for you to do to take your health back in your hands. If you have any questions, leave them. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can.